Truck drivers and travelers enter the United States from Canada through the port of Alcan. CBP officers conduct operations just like at any other land port, but at Alcan, they must do so in extreme conditions during the winter months. Passengers and cargo must be examined and paperwork checked or collected even when temperatures fall to 70 degrees below zero. In order to work in Alcan, first of all, you have to have the desire to be here, to experience the extremes, the cold, the very slow winter periods, the very busy summer periods, having to drive three or 400 miles to get your food. You have to have the commitment to the job in order to put yourself in that situation and still maintain the utmost level of integrity and ethics and determination and hard work. These guys here are the most committed people I've ever met, very dedicated and very good officers. Travelers could be unknowingly transporting a pest, disease, or pathogen, an insect inside a piece of fruit, or an invisible disease on the sole of a shoe could become a grave danger to the U.S. food supply. So, you came from a farm in Canada? Oh, yeah, we're in Okay, so what kind of animals do you have on the farm? By asking just a few questions, the CBP agriculture specialist determined that this traveler could possibly be bringing the deadly foot and mouth disease into the United States on a pair of work boots worn on a farm in Canada. If they were to step on a farmer or a ranch in the U.S., with the debris on the shoes, it could possibly spread this disease if it exists on the farm that they came from. So agriculture specialists will clean the shoes with veterinary cleaning solution called Burcon. Cleaning a pair of boots is a small price to pay for protecting the U.S. food supply, farms, wildlife, and citizens. CBP agriculture specialists maintain a frontline defense against threats to American agriculture. As with all ports of entry, accurate assessments of travelers mean the difference between allowing legal trade and travel into the U.S. and keeping illegal and dangerous people and goods out. Field operations officers at the Alcan port of entry continue to keep our northernmost border safe and secure.